Hi everyone, how's it going? Um, today we will just continue back to the toy. So today we look at the Dragon Zord from I think ninety ninety three. Hopefully I'm correctly, but just following up the Mech Zord. Um, so the Dragon Zord also got like I never got it back when I was a kid. Same as the Mech Zord, I got this at the same time like I think two years ago. Um, very good condition. The box is a bit old, but I don't really care. I think everything works perfectly. I also just also replaced all the stickers on the toy. But yeah, I think Green Ranger is always like the coolest character I ever had. I never saw in the in the show what I remember as kids. Like he got the golden armor. So inside the himself, so inside the toy got the Ranger, the Green Ranger himself, Tommy. And yeah, it's very cool. I never actually, I don't know if it came with the range, like the range of action figure. Like, it's very nice. I mean, there's not much you can do. Like, I think it doesn't come with Dragon Dago. It's a bit, this, bit unfortunate, but I mean, what are you expecting? Articulation, you can see the leg and somehow posing, do some, some, some kind of, some sort of posing. But, I mean, you can't come. You can't compare it to the modern toy, but it's quite cool. It can't actually they make a, a Green Ranger himself. Like, oh, oh! By the way, you can actually take out his armor. I actually don't know that. That's cool. But it's got its inside chest. You got the the Dragon Sword himself. Let's put the armor back. I hope I didn't break it. Uh, yes, I didn't break it. Good. Uh, how do I touch this? Okay. Yes. I'll just put it away. And look at Dragon Zord himself. Very, very nice gold charm on the shoulder. So by the way, this one actually came out of the electronical. So if you turn the... Oh, oh it's, it's a small spider here. Ah, oh, that's cute. But anyway. Uh, okay, let's go back. Um, so, yeah, so electrical function. So it wants to turn on. So you can see, so it's like it's blinking on the chest. It's some weird, and the sound affection. It's quite cool. Anyway, so the Dragon Zord. What if? So what you can do with Dragon Zord is you can combine with the Max Zord. Let's bring him up. So Max Zord as size, just in terms of size comparison, so it's like Max Zord's bigger, like one around I think one hand. Uh, yes. So anyway, what you can do is you can combine with the Max Zord, but there's only three other Zord to a Dragon Zord battle mode, I think is how you call it. Can't really remember correctly, but anyway, let's quickly just do that one. Let's take the Max Zord apart first. So, you don't need the chest, and you also don't need the main body, the T Rex, or whatever the, the dinosaur is called, for this mode. Let's put it away, and Dragon Zord himself. So what you can do is, so you basically just take this one apart. If you need to move. I think you move the tail up down first, and take it apart. Take out this part. This is where the electric or this battery thing is put in. It's quite heavy. Uh, anyway, so you take bring in the hand. So steer this attached to each other, and go that way. So form the chest, very, very nice. And for the leg, I'm just gonna fold up the Dragon Zord feet. Oh gosh, why well, don't do that? So push this plate away. Here we are. Hmm. Yes, like that. And basically, just similar to Megazord, is push this in, and that's. You push down his shoes with the Dragon Zord hand himself. And that's the arm you're basically using the Megazord arm as well. So similar touch. There we go. So because Dragon Zord in battle mode or whatever his name is called. But I can't remember, remember correctly. So bring up the camera a little bit. Let's bring up the camera a little bit. Yes, so it's quite tall. And very, very nice backing all the time. I mean, you can't really use the modern, modern judgment to the old toy, 
the for the weapon, what you can do you got the this chest part attached to this. I think this is background, so this is like either this is a stuff or is a lens. I think more spear. I think it's more like spear. So you attach the tail on top. And you got its weapon. Very, very cool weapon. You can somehow hold it like this. But yeah, very nice. Very, very cool. Oh, my camera. Gosh, I need to find a way just to make sure my camera's not falling apart. But yeah, anyway. Oh, it comes out. So that's the battle mode. And the other one, you can combine all the six sword together, which is, I think they're called Ultra Sword or Ultra Mode or whatever. Um, so what you're gonna do is, so the dragon sword, you need to take this apart again. I don't need you anymore. I think, bring back the Megazord himself. There we are. I think you push your attach to that. I think you're doing it that way, and you're doing that. Uh, I think I can still press, so hopefully I can still attach the cannon at the back. So I won't lose it. I'll bring up the tail just to fix it. So the dragon sword is gonna I think it's more designed as like a cape to Megazord. And you basically just bring this up. So you can see here's like two pin hidden inside. You just bring this down just to attach to the Megazord himself. So it's like this, you just bit put on top of it. And in terms of the weapon, I think you can just like I think I'm doing it either this way, but okay, here we are. So it's like this, and the other side is also attached to it, like this, and test the chest again. Then here we go, you got the Ultra Zord, or maybe what other the name is. So we basically, in this form, we get all six Zord combined together. Very, very cool. You can't really do any posing with this mode anymore. It's just like standing there, but it's good, you know, very, very cool. And unfortunately, I don't have the Titanus, the carrier. Uh, I think if you got the Titanus, you can just put this one inside of it. I think Titanus comes with like a motor as well, so you can apparently can move it around. So I really want it, but it's very rare, and I don't think anyone's selling locally in Australia. So it's very hard for me to get it. I think, and I think I mentioned the other times. I'll just order cost you like like what, three or four hundred US dollar in US and for another hundred probably hundred dollar shipping, which is very very expensive. I mean, hopefully one day someone will see it in Australia, I can grab it. But for now, so I'm very happy with this. Yeah, this is cool. I mean, I think when I got a lot two years ago, when I got this two toy. I was very very happy. Even though this is like very old toy back in 1993, like it's like something you always wanted and you got it. And it's not disappointing, it's good. But this is like, I think for now, the toy design for this, putting the modern time, this is like still, still very, very good toy in terms of engineering and all the transformation. Yeah, this is the best. This is the best. Okay, cool. All right. Thanks for watching today, um, I'm not sure what I was going to do next time, so if you guys have a particular want me to do any toy or any other random stuff you want me to do in the channel, just let me know in the comments. Alright, I'll see you guys next time, take care, bye.